This is a class about understanding. It's about understanding not just a single group of people, but a very diverse group of people, many different groups of people. One in five, maybe, human beings on this planet is a Muslim. And while we can't explain all of them, or cover all of them, we can at least begin to cover some of the commonalities and diversity within this community, including Muslims who live in this country. Muslims are our neighbors in America, Muslims are our neighbors in countries around the world, and the more we can learn about Islam and Muslim cultures, I think the better the world will be. We'll talk a little bit about basic concepts in Islam, like the Quran, the life of the Prophet Muhammad. We'll also talk about uh, the challenges Muslims in different countries face, not every Muslim country, but certainly in many different Muslim majority countries. And then we'll talk about the resources, the things that Muslims can draw upon to help them in various uh, situations including the life of Muslims in, in the United States, where Muslims have a lot of freedom to practice their religion. And then we're going to bring the class right up to date because I don't know what Islam is going to be like in December. And so the last class will be talking about what is happening right at that very moment. I'm a little bit of an unusual Muslim because uh, I didn't change my name like some people do. And I don't look the way most people expect Muslims to look. Uh, so, I don't think people usually see me and say, oh, there's a, there's a Muslim walking down the street. Many of the aspirations of Muslims are very similar to aspirations that Americans have. You know, they want to live in free societies, right? They want to live, they have opportunities for their children uh, to be free from warfare and extremism, right? The Islamic extremism that we see on the news in many ways impacts Muslims much more than it impacts Americans or people in Europe uh, as well. So there's that. And then there's this very rich spiritual tradition of Islam. It is a religion. It's a 1400 year religion. Uh, so it must be doing something right. Uh, and so there are a whole variety of spiritual traditions. Sometimes they're called Sufism. Some of them are just called purifying the soul. But these are very rich resources uh, that Muslims can draw upon and that maybe aren't as familiar to most people who've heard about Islam. This class would be a great opportunity for students to ask questions about Islam. Everyone has probably heard something about Islam or Muslims, certainly anyone over the age of about maybe three. But much of what they hear is, is quite possibly inaccurate. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for them to hear perhaps a new perspective on Islam, one that's based on years of someone who's been studying the tradition uh, and reading the original sources. Uh, and so it's really a great opportunity for them to broaden their horizons, and to bring as many questions as they'd like. I'm really looking forward to teaching the seminar this fall. I sincerely hope to see you there. We're going to be covering all sorts of fascinating topics, and I hope that you choose to take it, inshallah, God willing, as we say in Arabic.